your big butt. That's how you start it. That's the biggest one I've caught all week. Hey guys, Bassmaster Lee Series Pro here, Jacob Fouts. Hey, we're out here on the Tennessee River today, and you know, we're dealing with, uh, we got drawdown conditions here. You know, Tennessee River is, is, is famous for, for, the, for the winter drawdown, and uh, you know, you know, I live on Lake Chickamauga, and we, we, get, we get about six feet of drawdown in the wintertime, and you know, it moves the fish a bunch, and uh, I, I personally really like it when the water draws it, when, when the water comes down, just because it, you know, it constricts everything, and the fish they got nowhere to go, especially on a Tennessee River. You know, here's a prime example. It's, uh, you know, Tennessee River is a, a fairly flat place, and you know, when the water comes down, all this is really, really shallow, and you got a prime little spire here. You can see here, there's a ditch that runs out, and the fish they got nowhere else to go, so that everything constricts to the to the mouths of the ditches. And you know, just these mud flats. I think one thing in the winter people don't realize everyone talks about rock and wood and how it holds heat, but mud also holds heat. And you know, a lot of times in the, in the winter, you'll catch a bass, and if you look at their stomach, they'll have a brown spot on their chest where they've been sitting up in the mud. And I think it, I think it holds heat, and that's why in the winter time, you know, you can't ever fish shallow enough. Some of my very best days in the winter come when the water's you know 40, 42 degrees, and I'm catching them a foot deep. I think it's just because when the when the sun gets up and the water starts warming, they really like that mud because it it holds heat as well. There's really not a whole lot of baits you can fish when the water is that shallow. You know, it's not like you can go bomb an A-rig up there because you're just going to be fighting it the whole time. It's going to be digging the bottom. You know, I I like a chatter bait. A chatter bait's always good. A square bill, uh, a rattle trap is a big player as well. You know, when the water's cold, they're not really they don't really want to commit to a top water, so I try to stay away from something like that. But you know, I think for me, my number one pick is a chatter bait. It's it's good year round. You guys see it all throughout the year. It's, it seems like it's always a player in every tournament we go to and. It's no different here on the Tennessee River.